<laughs> oh, it's time for church again. I'm Jesse. One of my favorite things about what we're doing right now is that you can have church almost literally anywhere. You could go to your backyard, you could go to your bedroom, you could go to your parents' bed. You could, you could go anywhere. Find somewhere interesting. Change it up today. Let's go to worship. just out of the blue, they decided to walk away and that they didn't want to be friends anymore. Maybe they got mad, maybe something happened, but they just decided they wanted to walk away and they didn't care about your friendship. Most of us have had that happen before. And what I love about Jesus is that He promises that He will never leave. He'll never walk away from us. And He actually says that our sin will never cost us His love. You know. People may fail us and they may walk away and leave, but God will never leave. Psalm 30 tells us to sing praises to the Lord. You, His faithful people, praise His holy name. So let's do that right now. Let's praise Him and give Him honor because He's faithful, He's worthy, and He will never leave us. One more stay, one more exhale As I fall away, leave Feel my heart as it's racing Down the path you set for me When the road feels unending There's a promise you reveal When these days leave me empty You sustain me even still So 
overtake me Won't let anxiety face me Whatever comes, count me in Count me in Oh, I Even when my legs are weary I'm not gonna give up that easy Whatever comes, count me in Count me in over here by myself hopefully you were able to get some other people that are around you and worship with them church is meant to be done together so go ahead and grab them now if you're not uh, for today's comment section question uh, we have another would you rather you know I love would you rathers would you rather have a seven minute brain freeze every day for the rest of your life or get dunked in a pool every time you're ready to go somewhere so seven minute brain freeze every day for the rest of your life or whenever you're like okay I'm ready to go I'm going to the car you just like boom dunked in, in a pool. What would you do? This is a tough one. You know, if I think about it, seven minutes of brain freeze is just, just excruciating pain. Like, like I'm just, you know, going nuts over here. But just getting dunked in a pool every time that you're ready to go, you know, you're just like, hey mom, I'm ready to go. Oh boy. No, that's definitely worse. That's worse than the brain freeze. That would be bad. I was supposed to meet my friends at the movies after this. Let's just go to the show. This week on The Luke Show Likes You. Beaches, brain freezes, and baptism. Hang, Hang on, on for the Luke. Luke. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. Welcome to the Loop Show Likes You. And welcome to summer. Uh, summer. I really like summer, but you know what I like more, Jamie? What do you like more, Ricky? Our lovely Loop Show viewers. Oh, me This too. is your show because we are all about your postcards. And for this fun summer edition, we're going to be talking about your summer traditions and your summer challenges. So, Ricky, what are some of your favorite summer traditions? Okay, my favorite thing to do during the summer is go to the movies and see all of the epic movie blockbusters. I love snow cones and I love going tubing. What's tubing? Okay, so tubing is where you go out onto the lake and you get on a boat and then you get on the tube and then it drags you behind and then the driver tries oh. to like knock you off. It's so much fun. Tubing. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I did that once and Never again. <gasps> it was terrifying. You guys should do it. It's so much fun. Don't listen to Ricky. So these postcards have a section that says, what's something that we should know about you? Let's see what you wanted us to know. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, this one. Okay. So this is from Will. And it says, my favorite soda is pineapple Fanta. That's actually really good and very 
difficult to find, like mm -hmm. impressive, first of all. But yeah, I have you had that? I haven't had the pineapple. I really like strawberry and grape. Let's go with this one. You want to go for it? Yeah. Uh, my hand got stuck in a vacuum cleaner. Oh no. That uh, painful. Is it still stuck? Uh, yeah. if, if it is, this is a very impressive vacuum cleaner handwriting. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they learned to write with the other hand that's not stuck in the vacuum cleaner. You know what, that is a better logical conclusion. <laughs> so London wrote this, uh, I love swimming and being near water. I love going to the beach. Oh. I'm exactly like London. I love going to the beach and being in the sun, the smell of sunscreen. <sighs> are, are you? A are you a mermaid? <gasps> well, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be very convenient. Thanks, London. Okay, I like to read books, but dress up like the character of the book while I'm reading it. That's awesome. That's brilliant. Okay, if, okay, if you could do that, like mm -hmm. what book would you read and who would you dress up as? Okay, Harry Potter for sure. And then, I don't know, it's kind of a three-way tie between Hermione, Dobby, or Luna. Great characters. Okay. How about you? <laughs> uh, okay, so I would read a Spider-Man comic, but I would mm -hmm. be dressed up as J. Jonah Jameson. That's a hard name to say. Is J. J Jonah Jameson, is he Spider-Man? No, he is not, um, unless you uh, subscribe to some fan theories about that. So there's this idea that J. Jonah Jameson wants pictures of Spider-Man because he's actually trying to um, inflate the, the prices. Uh, the fifth iteration of Spider-Man would have actually been the rise of J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, but that's just the, the short version. Um, that was the short version? Yeah, sorry, I'm going on the spider trail. Uh, let's roll to a cliff. What's up? My name's Josh, and I've never made slime before. Uh, righty. Step one, we're just gonna take some glue. Ugh, it smells like vinegar. Anybody ever eat glue? No, just me? Okay. Step two. You guys find this fun? You guys find slime fun? Like, oh, jeez. What color should I do? Should I do green, purple, or a reddish pink? Ready, pull, one, two, three, scream it out loud. Pur purple? Purple. Purple it is. Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay. Now I see why it's fun. This looks really cool. Yes. Look at that. Looks like a potion. Final step. This is called the slime activator. Activator. Slime activator. Slime activator. Slime activator. That's fun to say. All right. Slime activator's in a mix. What is it doing? Ew, it's getting really, really like thick and nasty. Like Spider-Man, like Venom, like that little thing that... I think we've done it. I think we've made slime. Got, oh man. Yeah. Yo. This is disgusting. Let's see how far I can stretch it without it breaking. Oh man. What, what, what? Oh, trip. Yep. Purple was a good choice. Great call on purple. I'm super excited about that. Well, I have come to the conclusion. I've come to the conclusion that this exercise was absolutely pointless. Like this slime is so disgusting, it is pointless. Don't argue with me, I hear you. Don't argue with me, slime is pointless. You guys like to do this for fun? No, this is pointless. If I can be honest, I have I felt like this slime from time to time. Like I have legitimately felt so, so pointless. Like, have you ever asked yourself, what am I doing in this life? Like, what am I supposed to do? But something that I learned is that I'm not pointless. I'm not pointless. And something that you need to hear today is that you are not pointless. You're not this slime. Like you have a purpose. You have a God-given purpose. God has a purpose for you. God, test me, search me, lead me, amen. Those simple words can truly begin to reveal what God has for you. Saying this prayer is gonna probably feel uncomfortable at times, but if you say this simple prayer every single day, it's gonna help you discover what God's purpose is for you. So when you ask him to test you, and when you ask him to search you and lead you, he's gonna reveal some things that just might not be fun all the time. God's gonna lead you in some areas that you never thought you would ever go. But when you say the prayer, test me, search me, lead me, you're placing so much trust in Him. And as I said, it's not gonna be easy all the time, 
but man, it's gonna be so much fun as you discover what God's purpose is for you. Because you're not pointless. God's got a purpose for you. And all you have to do to figure that out is say the prayer, God, test me, search me, lead me, amen. Okay, so this one says, uh, who can name the most fruit? Me. Oh, that's funny, because uh, I thought it was me. I don't think so. Challenge accepted. Kiwi. Orange. Kumquat. Uh, Clementine. Watermelon. Grapes. Cherries. Lime. Plum. Uh, pineapple. Pear. Cashews. Passion fruit. Wait, uh, is it cashews? Cashews come from a fruit. Fun fact. But it's not. It's a nut. Ah. <gasps> I'm the winner! You're the winner. Well done, Jamie, you won. <laughs> Thank you. Let's pick another challenge so I can win again. All right, uh, this one. <gasps> Slushy race. See who can drink the coldest thing the fastest. Oh, oh. man. Okay. I think I'm going to redeem myself. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. I really don't like cold things. Okay. Ah. Wait, are we starting? <laughs> The timer went off. Duh. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> It's just syrup. I'm just drinking syrup. Oh, ah! Ooh, that was freezing. That was freezing. You wanna feel how cold my tongue is? Oh, no, 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 ah, no, no. It's really cold. Oh, okay, I'm getting very close to the brain freeze. I was trying to like make it warm up in my mouth. Like I'm like, if it, you know, if I can just hold it in my mouth, it'll melt. That'll be it. It'll be over. But no, it just keeps staying cold. Oh, okay. I'm. I think. Oh, baby, you have to eat that again. Oh, you're right. <laughs> There's so many spit bubbles in here. <laughs> I just wanted to get warmer. It just hurts. <sighs> Maybe if I stick it under my armpit. Ricky, can we try your armpits? I no. just would think. No, I don't know. no, you're I want to help you win. <laughs> I'll be drinking my slushy from your armpit now. <laughs> Put your next snow cone in your friend's armpit and drink it. <laughs> Why are you using me like a human microwave? Look at all this down here. You melted all that. I I don't think I can take it anymore. Are you giving up? I've already beaten you consumption-wise, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna continue trying to warm mine up. It wouldn't be so bad if it was just warm. Mm. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna call it. I think I, I think I beat you, Jamie. I declare it. I declare winnership. I accept defeat. But I'm gonna keep this right here because it's actually quite practical. How's your tongue? Oh, it's red. Is that that? Oh, it's blue. Is it? That's fun. Oh, okay. Well, good news is that now I feel cold enough to face the summer heat. So thank you for suggesting that challenge. You know another thing that the Loop Show likes? Your questions. Ooh. Oh, perfect timing. Thank you. Ooh, this is a really good one. Hmm. So they asked, why should I get baptized? Hi, I'm Allie. Someone had a question, why should I get baptized? That is a great question, by the way. There's a lot of different ways we could answer it, but I wanna start by telling a story, my baptism story. So let me set the stage here. I'm seven. I'm a very awkward looking seven year old. Like I basically look like this. So I know you're all feeling sorry for me, it's fine. Um, so my family goes to church every so often, and one weekend I hear the pastor talk about who Jesus is and what he did for us and how we can choose to have a relationship with him. And I was like, well, that sounds awesome. So I tell my mom, and my mom's excited, and she signs me up for baptism, and flash forward, the day has arrived. And here's some things you need to know about seven-year-old me. I hate crowded spaces. I hate being in front of people, and I have really bad asthma. So imagine my surprise when I show up on baptism day, I realize I'm getting baptized in what looks like a bathtub in front of everybody, and they're gonna hold me underwater. So I'm like, I'm gonna die. Like, I'm 100% thinking, it's a good thing that I know Jesus because I'm about to meet him. So I get up there, I'm shook, but I do it, and obviously I survived, and I actually had a good experience. So it was not as bad as I thought. So afterwards, I didn't really think about it that much until way later, like way later, I became a small group leader and I had one of the girls in my group ask me the same question, why should I get baptized? And so I remember telling her another story that we can find in Matthew chapter three, and it says, after his baptism, as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens were opened, and he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and setting on him. And a voice from heaven said, 
This is my dearly loved son who brings me great joy. There's a lot going on in those verses. First of all, Jesus got baptized. So I mean, if Jesus did it, it's probably a good idea for us to do it. But I really want us to focus on that last part where God is telling Jesus in front of Jesus and everybody watching Jesus, like, Jesus is my son and I am really proud of him. Like, isn't it the best feeling in the world when somebody tells you they're proud of you? Like, that's what happened for Jesus. And when we get baptized, we get that same opportunity to create this memory where we remind ourselves and everybody watching us that we belong to God and God is really proud of us. And I think what's special about it too is that when you get baptized, you're showing people that you belong to God. And I think it helps people watching know that they can also choose to belong to God. And so we get baptized because when we decide to follow Jesus, it is a personal decision, but it's not a private one because it's really good news. And when you have good news, you wanna share it with other people. So my friend Allie decides to get baptized and she posts this picture on Instagram with these verses that I think really sum it up. And she put them in the message version, which is a really easy to read version of the Bible. Um, and it says, this is what happened in baptism. When we went under the water, we left our old country of sin behind. When we came up out of the water, we entered into a new country of grace, a new life in a new land from Romans 6, one through three. So baptism reminds us what Jesus did for us. It doesn't save us, but it shows us that we belong to God and it shows others that we belong to God too. So if you're like my friend Allie and you wanna get baptized, do what she did. Tell your small group leader, tell your parents, tell your friend, tell anybody that you trust because they will help you answer your questions. And I promise it's not as scary as I thought when I was seven. Bye friends. Show Bible Plans on the Uversion Bible app. Yeah, the Loop Show Bible Plans is a mix of clips, Bible verses, and prayers designed specifically for you. If you have a computer or a tablet or a cell phone, ask your parents if you can download the Uversion Bible app. And if you are a follower of Jesus and you haven't been baptized yet, maybe this will be the summer where you go public with your faith. Whatever you decide to do, we hope that you reach out to us. Send us your grandma. Get the Declaration of Independence. Whoa. Turn it over. Tell the police officers, don't worry, this is for the Loop Show. I got this. And then on the back of the Declaration of Independence, I want you to write out what challenge you want us to do. Mm -hmm. Put it in some treasure, and then put that treasure chest in the ocean, and then send out some pirates to find the treasure, have them put it on their boat, have them move that boat here and have them deliver the treasure box to us and then we'll open it up and we'll see your suggestion. Or you can just write it on a postcard, whichever is easier for you. Just think about it. Whatever you decide to do, have a rockin' summer. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride! So we've received grace and now we get to share that grace with others. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each and every student who is in here today, because what I know is that you have given us opportunities to share your grace, share your encouragement, share your love with those around us. Continuing in an attitude of prayer, every head is still bowed and every eye is still closed. There are some of you who are in here today and you would say, man, I don't know how to share that grace because I haven't received it for myself. But here's why His grace matters, because God wants an eternal relationship with you, but there's a problem and the problem is a thing called sin. Sin are the bad things that we think, say, and do that separate us from Him. 
but God didn't want it to stay that way. So he showed his grace to us by sending his one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross 2,000 years ago. So now the Bible says that anyone who calls on his name can and will be saved. So today is your day. You're ready to say yes to a relationship with Jesus. What I want you to do is raise your hand for me so I can pray for you right now. Hands going up here and everywhere else across the globe. And those people made that decision on their own. But we're gonna pray alongside them. So everybody repeat after me, say, Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. I don't wanna sin anymore. I'm turning away from the old me and I'm running toward you. Thank you for new life. You now have mine. In Jesus' name I pray. Come on, somebody say amen. That is absolutely the best decision that you will ever make. And we wanna make sure that you tell somebody about it. Tell your friends, tell your leader, tell your parent, because we wanna make sure that you know what next steps to take now that you have made a decision to become a follower of Jesus. We're so excited for you and so honored to be a part of this journey with you. If you made that decision just now, could you just give me a little dance where you are? Because that's, that's we're just, mm, ah, mm, way to go, you guys. I'm so proud of you. Way to be. This decision is the best one you could ever make, uh, clearly. And it's, it's a decision that's gonna keep going. Through your whole life, you're gonna be walking deeper and deeper with Jesus. Um, and like we talked about in the episode, baptism might be a really great st next step. Show the people around you like you're making this decision and you're serious about it. Um, for all of us, whether you just made that decision or you've been following Jesus for a long time or you're just curious, we're gonna go to this URL, go to.lc slash Luke Bible Plans. I know it's a mouthful, but it's not a, an eyeful, so go ahead and just type that into the, the URL box. Um, and we're just gonna pick a new favorite. We're gonna pick a pick a Bible plan at, according to like, if you like the picture or the name or something, but all about different topics, and they're all meant to help you grow deeper with Jesus. Now, with all of this that is being said, you are not slime. You are not useless or pointless. God has a purpose for you this summer. So, write in the comments, what's something you're doing this summer that has purpose? That's a big one. What are you doing right now that has purpose? It doesn't have to be every day, but, but tell us about it. If you don't know what it is, talk to someone because they might be able to help you find it. Um, but now, we are going to get into discussion questions, but uh, I see them right there. Here, let me just I'll clean that off for you. There we go. There, why don't you talk to your family about these? 